So my name is Gabriela Soto, and I'm the Outreach and Placement Specialist for this program. Um, I attended community college myself for a couple of years, and then I transferred to a four-year university, San Diego State. Um, and then I received my bachelor's from San Diego State. Um, and I also do have two peer mentors from our program here with me today, so they're going to introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Brooke. I am one of the peer mentors at Grossmont College. I have been there since fall 2016, and I am a computer science major. Uh, I originally started out there as a mentee myself in the program, and I'm absolutely in love with just this program and the school in general. Christian? Hello, my name is Christian. I'm a peer mentor here at It was cutting off a little bit. Um, I can't hear you, Christian. So we'll go ahead and move forward. Christian, maybe if you want to log in and log out, that'll help you um, with your connection. We're going to uh, move forward, but um, that was one of our peer mentors, Christian um, Gonzalez. Okay, so um, can you click the next slide, please? Or can I click the next slide? Okay, awesome. So first of all, um, Grossmont is a community college, and the difference between a community college and, commu and a four-year university is that we are typically two to three-year schools. Um, and we usually more affordable. Um, however, we do provide a pathway for a four-year degree. So a lot of students go to community college for a couple of years, um, take general ed courses, and then they transfer to a four-year university. So once you transfer, you transfer in as a junior. So not a lot of people know that. A lot of people feel, a lot of people think that you have to um, you go to community college and then you pretty much do all four years when you transfer at a four-year university, but that's not true. When you transfer, it is as a junior. So typically, you're only there like as a junior, so two years, and then you receive your bachelor's degree. Um, at Grossman College, we do offer associate degrees, um, which are your typical two-year degrees, usually 16 units. Um, we have associate degrees for transfer. So sometimes with these degrees, it helps you get, gain entrance into a four-year degree, depending into a four-year institution, sorry, depending on your major. Um, and then we also have CTE programs. So these are shorter than an associate. Typically, they're 30 units, um, so about a year. So this is if, if you want to come, do something fast, get a certificate, and then they can, it can help you um, get a job. So this is, you know, if you do want something fast. And then at Grossman, we actually do offer two bachelor's degrees through the Point Loma Nazarene um, University program at our campus. Um, so pretty much like I was saying, I myself went to a community college and it was really affordable um, because I couldn't afford going to a four year straight after high school. So then I was able to transfer to a four year. And now I do have my bachelor's and in my degree, it doesn't show us, just know that it will not show as you going to a community college and then going to a four year. So pretty much your degree is only going to show that four year institution. If you do want a bachelor's, if you just want to get your associates, that's completely fine. Um, but just know that we do offer that at Grossman College. And I'm um, sorry, I forgot to mention, Haley, if you do have any questions um, after we go through a slide, feel free to just, um, you can either type it in the chat or just um, just raise speak, speak up, uh, and we'll be happy to answer that. So again, just how we compare, um, we just really like to include the slide so you can visually see the different tuition rates. Um, so for example, Grossman College, we're the first line 
were the first um, at the top. So there is no application fee to go to Grossmont. And then typically for one year at Grossmont, um, including like parking fee, the health fee, it can be about, um, for a full-time student, $1,200 $1, per year. And you can see the cost here, total one-year cost. And then if you look at CSU, you know, there is an application fee, um, parking permit fee. So for one year, it'll be guesstimate around $7, $7,800. Um, and then let's compare to UCSD. Again, with all the fees, one year can be, and this is before, um, before financial aid, by the way, before your FAFSA. So one year can typically be 15,000 and then USD, which is of course a private, can be up to 49,000. So again, it's just to see how we compare. Um, and in addition, this $1,200 for gross month, it can actually be eliminated, eliminated through a program that we have called the Gross Month Key Market College Promise, which I will talk about in a moment. Um, next slide, please. So the Grossman Kimaka College Promise, um, this allows students at Grossman to get two years tuition free. So you don't even have to worry about paying for your courses. Um, you would just worry maybe like your books, um, any additional fees. But even, so some students can get two years free. In addition, they can still apply for FAFSA and then through FAFSA, depending on your household income, you can still get additional funds to help cover for them. Um, so in order to get two years free, it's very simple. You do have to be a first time college student. You have to sign the Promise Pledge, which is online, super fast. Um, you have to submit a FAFSA or a DREAM Act application if you're undocumented. And this doesn't check that you do qualify for financial aid, like it's not income based. They just check that you submitted an application. And I know a lot of students um, don't submit a FAFSA because they think they might not get any money. Um, so we encourage everyone to submit one. And then step number four, um, you do have to complete the onboarding process, which just consists of like course one application, um, orientation, listening questionnaire. So it's a series of steps that's done all online. Um, and I can definitely further assist you with that. If you do want to go to Grossman, you're not sure where to start. Um, again, I'm going to put my contact information. We can arrange a meeting and I'll be more than happy to go over that um, in further detail with you. And you do have to be a full-time student. So at Grossman, that consists of at least 12 units or more, um, which is typically, depending on the courses, three to four courses per semester. So you do have to be full time. And then you, once you are a Grossman, you have to maintain a 2.0 GPA or higher. So this is not saying that you have to come to Grossman with a 2.0, like it's not looking at your high school grades. Um, in fact, when you do go to college, your GPA starts like from zero. So, you, so everyone starts with the 4.0. Um, so 2.0 is pretty much just maintaining like a C average, which I know you guys can do above and beyond that. Um, so again, these are just the qualifications to get two years free, which almost offer some students qualify. So this is a really great program, um, at least speaking even for myself, like back when I went to community college, this program wasn't here. So I did have to pay out of pocket um, around the, the $1,000. Um, so what a lot of students do is, you know, take two years free and then transfer and then they just have to worry about maybe like those two years at a four-year university. And then mentors feel free to add anything um, as you as I'm speaking. Um, and Haley, you can always text as well. Okay, so Grossman College does offer a lot of programs and services, which is something that I feel like students are not aware of. Um, even though we are a community college, we have so many benefits for you. So I'm just going to briefly touch base on some of the programs that we have because there's just so much information. And just know that by being in our first year experience program, we're going to we're going to bring all this information to you. Okay, so we do have um, CalWORKs program. So for students who may be like on um, California benefits, like food stamps, social security, anything like that. Um, we have a dream center for undocumented students. We have our Via Rapida program, which I'm going to talk more in depth about it because we all work for this program. Um, we have Puente specifically for 
tech students. Um, we do have veteran services. If you were a veteran if, or if your um, parents were veterans, we have our own veteran resource center. So you can definitely use those, um, that center and those benefits. We have um, tutoring. Uh, Brick, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so with the tutoring center, we have our tutors, which you can make an appointment with for whatever subject you need help with. But on top of that, if you don't want to make an appointment with the tutor, say you're working on homework and you're not sure you're going to need help, but you'd like to be in an environment where you can get it if necessary, we have things like the math study center, our computer science office hours, we have a English writing center, where basically you can go in and just, you know, you sit down, work on your homework, and then as you have questions, you just write your name on the board and they'll come around to people in order and help you either go off, go over your English paper and that way you're able to protect, perfect it before turning it in or help you with your math homework and those sort of things as you have those questions. We also have some for the science centers as well. So we have um, tutoring, Brooke mentioned. We have a program called EOPS, which I'll talk a little bit about more in the next slide. We have Emoja for African American or Black students. Um, we have the Accessibility Resource Center. So we call it the ARC. Um, and for this center, we, they just help students who may need like extra help. So for example, like additional time during tests, um, it's mandated that the professor has to accommodate you if you do have maybe like a physical disability or learning disability, um, they have to help you. So again, all these resources are available completely free to students at Grossmont College. Um, and again, even if you don't remember all the resources that we listed, by being in our program, we're going to bring we pretty much bring all the resources and all the information to you instead of you like trying to find it, you know, and all going across campus through all different offices. Like we're just gonna bring all the information for you. So just know that um, Grossman, we do have a lot of support for you. And then next slide, please. So as I mentioned, I'm just going to talk a little bit more about um, EOPS. So it's designed to assist students who have identified as educationally or economically disadvantaged. So EOPS is usually for first generation college students, uh, maybe former foster youth, homeless, undocumented students, um, students who their native language is something other than English and who would just like additional guidance during their first year. I myself was an EOPS. I was a first generation, you know, I did come from a low income household. So I didn't know a lot about college. I didn't really know like where to start, what to do. Um, but by being here, they'll pretty much guide you through the whole process. Um, in addition, you do get benefits such as like a gas card. Um, they can help with like bus passes. They can help with book vouchers. So they do provide a lot of support. And it's similar to our program, Via Rapida. Um, so something I forgot to mention about all the programs and services. At Grossman, you don't have to pick and choose one thing. You can be in all of them if you wish. You can be in multiple one I just we just don't want you to feel like you can only be like in Via Rapida and not in EOPS you can be in multiple programs and services okay next slide so Via Rapida we are a first year experience program or FYE for short um, and pretty much as I mentioned we just want to help guide students throughout the first year of Grossmont their first year of college because it's so different than high school. Um, there's about, you know, 18,000 students at Grossman, but not all of them can join Via Rapida. Only new students such as yourself, incoming students such as yourself. Um, and we really walk you through the whole process. We want you to feel connected. We want to bring all the resources that the campus offers to you because we do offer a lot. Um, it's just a matter of kind of like finding them, um, knowing who to talk to. So by being in our program for one full year, we're going to provide these benefits for you which include, um, we do offer an exclusive summer orientation, which usually in college, your first day, you kind of just start your first day. Um, you don't have to come on campus before then, but 
we do require this for you. We do make this exclusive for you because we don't want you to be lost on your first day. During the orientation, like we will show you around campus, you'll get to meet other first time students, you get to meet your peer mentors, your counselors. So we just want you to be prepared and make those connections before you step foot on campus. Because the first couple of weeks can be a little crazy. You'll see people running for to class, um, but you guys will be ready which is, so that's a benefit. We do offer summer orientation. In addition, we offer a pro, we offer party registration for one full year. And this is a really great benefit because it means that you get um, first dips to all your courses. So for example, if you don't wanna wake up at 8 a.m. every day, you don't have to, like you can schedule your classes around your time. So if you just wanna take um, afternoon classes, you can do that. If you just wanna take online classes, like that's fine too. You can take classes just two days a week. Um, so you pretty much get to rearrange your schedule. And again, this is really important because sometimes a class fills up. Let's say you need an English class and it fills up. You have to wait one full semester just to register in another one. And this can really affect you if you're like planning a transfer, planning to graduate. So you wanna be, you wanna get first dibs like on all your courses. So for one year, by being in our program, we're gonna offer this for you. And then you get a peer mentor. So um, Christian and Brooke are peer mentors and they're gonna talk a little bit more about how they're gonna help you in a bit. Um, but if you look at the picture here, we do have um, around 30 peer mentors that we pair you up with and you can always um, text them, you can message them, they can meet with you on campus, they can walk you to other offices, um, give you tours. There, there were students who went through their first year too and they just wanna get back and help you. And then you do get your own Via Rapida counselors. So again, this is really good, a great benefit um, because you don't have to see a different counselor every time you go to the counseling office. Um, in addition, the wait time to meet with the counselor is shorter. If you go to general counseling, it may take you up to two weeks to get an appointment just because there's so many students. But if you're in our program, um, we can schedule you an appointment like for the next day or for the next even week, you know. Um, we try to get you to see a counselor as soon as possible. And then you get to build that one-on-one -on -one connection um, you know, you'll meet with your counselor, you'll tell them, hey, I wanna to transfer to UCSD, how can I do that? And they're literally gonna write down all the courses that you need and they're gonna give you a copy and you just take that and that's the plan that you follow throughout your, your years at Grisma College. So we try to make it as easy for you as possible. And we do offer summer su success workshops. So this kind of just like a, an intro in math and English. Like we just want you to know what to expect before your actual classes start. So again, it's a really great opportunity to get to meet your professors, um, but not like it like an actual grade. It's just like a, a little intro. And then we do offer learning communities. So you will take courses with, um, with like around 30 of your peers and you'll go through these courses together so you guys can have each other to support for support and we do have a financial li financial aid liaison meaning if you ever have any questions about your fafsa or your dream act or even scholarships anything that comes up um it's kind of like a faster way to get in contact with someone from financial aid usually their office is pretty busy um, but through our program we try to give you like that fast pathway um, mentors, if there's anything you'd like to add, feel free. So, uh, me being a peer mentor, uh, I have been a peer mentor for about two years now, and I've met some of the most amazing students that now are either on the path to graduating or have graduated. And so, it's amazing to see them come and go and then ask from them asking such a, a small question to something that is looking forward to how to take things to the next level is very important for for me to know that they're, they're relying on us to know how we can help them better and assist them. And with being a mentor, I myself also was a mentee and so it's a way that I give back to the community and back to the school because um, the school has been there for me and has led me through 
to the past, through the path of uh, now graduating, hopefully in May, and then transferring into a four-year university. Awesome, thanks for sharing. So our next slide, um, our summer orientation. So because of everything going on with COVID, this year's summer orientation uh, will most likely be virtual. And, but I still wanted to include these pictures and this slide just to show you what we have done in the past. And hopefully maybe we can even, um, usually we have two dates in the summer that are for summer orientation. So even though the first one might, def will definitely be virtual, the second one closer to fall may not be virtual. And that would be a great way for you to interact with other students. Um, so again, through the orientation, we give you important information about the first week of school, like where, where should you park, you know, how early should you get to class, just things that you want to know as a first year student. Um, we do give campus tours, again, because we don't want you to be lost. The campus is pretty big. Um, it is beautiful, but it's big. So we just want you to know what are your courses are at. We give you course registration information. Um, just like how the process of doing it, you know, like you want to make sure that as soon as your registration day and time comes that you log into a computer and that you register as soon as possible. Because I mentioned some classes go really fast. So again, just little bits of information. We want you to be well informed. Again, you'll get to meet other new students. Um, you know, these students can be like your study partners. Um, you can, you know, just start building those friendships. We usually do student panels so that you can hear from other student leaders. And again, they'll show their experiences like, hey, I recommend you do this. They're like, please, this is the advice that I would provide you. Um, can you go back to the slide, Kelly? The... We're almost done with this. And then again, fun activities. Um, like if you see in the picture down below, this group of students was trying to build, I believe, a marshmallow tower. Um, so just like fun, interactive things like that. You'll connect with your peer mentors too. And usually we do provide free lunch. You can click on the next slide now. <laughs> and again, these are just some pictures. Um, we do provide lunch and that, the if you see the one in the bottom left, that is actually our mascot. Uh, he's called Gizmo. So it's Grossmo's mascot. And then your student panel, we help you register for things. Um, so a lot goes on here because we want you to be prepared. And again, even though it may be, it will be virtual this year, um, we'll still give you as much, all the information that you need. Okay, next slide. Peer mentors. So as you can see in one of the pictures, Christian is actually here, um, but he's in the picture too. We do have 30 peer mentors. Um, so, you know, they have various degrees. We usually try to match you to a peer mentor based on like majors. So if you want to be a nursing major, we'll match you with like an, a nursing, a mentor who is also a nursing major. And again, they'll just walk you, give you advice, um, answer any questions you may have. So we do have 30 mentors. And again, this is student to student mentoring because they're actual students. You know, they may be in their second year and their third year, but they've been through their first year and they'll provide support to you throughout your whole first year. Um, they're available via email, texting, in person. You can make appointments online, um, but I'll really turn this over to the mentors and have them share just their experience. So I've had mentees and stuff who were having issues thinking maybe they'd have to drop the semester because financial aid wasn't working out or they weren't sure that there, if there was an issue with, you know, their classes, they weren't understanding the teachers, that sort of stuff. And my job's really been not just to support them in those situations with getting them connected, but also if they're having issues at home, they just need someone to talk to, vent, to get advice, that sort of stuff. So we really are that social connection, uh, social support as well. And as I said earlier, I used to be a mentee. So my first semester, I had no idea, like walked on the campus first day, I had no idea 
what to do, where my classes were, and I actually ended up getting recruited on campus that first day. And it helped me so much. And without having a peer mentor, I probably would not have finished my first year because there was a lot going on for me. So it really does help the students. And if you have something going on, whether it's in your personal life or academically, that support can really help you get through that, move past it and thrive to be a better you. And that is what really inspired me to become a peer mentor because I wanted to be able to help students the way that my mentor helped me. Um, a little bit about how uh, peer mentoring work is, works is very one-on-one -on -one basis, uh, either through phone or through email or even face-to-face. -face. Um, I know with this whole COVID-19 situation, face-to-face -face, um, is kind of tough, but things like virtual, virtual um, phone calls have been working for me. And so people just go ahead and contact me through uh, a platform through mine, which whenever they want to meet or they have questions, we're able to text them in that regard. And also, it's very convenient for students who don't really know who to talk to on campus. And so um, I feel like with peer mentors, you have uh, an access point where the mentor can either find out for you what the, the answer is for your question, or they can support you and they can help you go to the uh, respected office or authority or even the personnel that can actually assist you with any problem you might have with school um, as well as anything going on in your life that we offer at just one college we are also um, very helpful in like almost holding your hand and helping you uh, push yourself to get that foot in the door Awesome, thank you. Um, okay, so peer mentors, again, it's a benefit of being in our uh, Via Rapida first year experience program. So in addition, um, oh, next slide, please. In addition, um, our program and Guzman College campus, we host um, several workshops and events throughout the year. Um, some of these, just some examples of these events are um, study jams, career fairs, success fairs. We have a distress week during finals. We have a Dia de Familia career fair where you can invite your family. Um, we have Gizmo's Kitchen. So um, study jams, usually they're just a place for you to come together and just pretty much study for your finals. We have tutors, we give off free snacks. Um, we do you, Christian, do you want to talk about the massages, the massage chairs? Um, yes, yeah, so we do we do offer um, during this stress week, we do offer um, massage um, therapy. So people come out that are professionals and they go ahead and give massages while you're either prepping for an exam or a midterm. And my personal experience was that, I actually got to experience one of those massages and I totally recommend them. And even coming out to any event because there's always a surprise that you never know what the event or workshop might hold. Um, that benefit was a massage, but also the other familia uh, that we also host is a surprise of having to meet um, professionals outside of the school and also free tacos, free food, which is amazing because um, as a college student, you're always looking for resources and ways to make your whole uh, college experience a lot better. Thank you. So we'll host um, study jams. We host career fairs where a lot of our students actually can get hired on the spot, you know, because we invite organizations that are actively hiring. So if you need support with that, we also have a career center. Um, 
if you look on the bottom left, we also just do fun events. You know, I know this, um, I'm not sure, I can't remember what they're called, a little bouncy, um, but it was during our all campus activities fair. And then um, Gizmo's Kitchen. So this is a food pantry for students at Gizmo College. And again, it's all completely free. I know that they just verify that you're a student and then you get like a little bag of groceries. In addition, we have um, like a mobile farmer's market, I believe. Um, Brooke, I don't know if you want to share a little bit about that uh, since you volunteer. Yeah, so through Gizmo's Kitchen, they have uh, once a month a free farmer's market that is open to all of our students. All you have to do is show your college ID to prove that you're a student, and then you can go through, pick as much food as you want. We'll have like bags of oranges, apples. We've had bags of onions in the past, pasta, canned goods, just pretty much anything you can think of. We've all, on top of that, Gizmo's Kitchen also lets you get groceries once a week if you apply to their program, which I believe everyone's eligible for. You just have to fill out some paperwork. They give you a sticker to go on your ID card, and then you go to their food pantry, show your ID card, they write down your number, and you get free groceries once a week through that as well. Yeah, so it's a great um, resource that we have at Gross Month that is not that well known of yet, um, but we're still trying to get the word out. And then if you see the picture with the little puppy at the top, um, so we're bringing pets. This is part of the de-stress week too. Um, usually when you have your midterms or finals, you know, your stress can be a little high. But again, we just try to make fun things like we bring the little puppies, you know, just to help. And again, this is all completely free to you. Um, these events are all hosted throughout the year, so we will actually let you know when they're coming up. Um, your peer mentors will let you know. You'll receive a message. You'll receive an email. So we'll, we'll promote it to you so that you're able to know. Because, so, yeah. yeah. No, keep um, so for the picture of the dog, that's Pets for Pep. And during the stress week, we'll actually bring uh, not just any animals, but we bring certified support animals on campus with from a group that partners with us. So they can have anything from dogs that they'll bring. They've had cats in the past. They have rabbits that are available too. So we try to get a good mix of the animals there. And it's free for anyone. You just, as you're passing through, by through class, you can walk by, you know, stop, pet the animals. You don't have to sign in or anything. And it's just a really good experience for people who are stressed, you know, the week before finals. On top of that, we also have, during Mental Health Awareness Week, Code Lavender, which is a workshop I've led in the past that is tailored around coping skills and mental health awareness. So that's another big one where we'll actually give away goodies and stuff like that as well. Thanks, Brooke. Um, so yeah, there's so many workshops, so many free events on campus. And by being in our program, we'll bring all those events, um, we'll bring all the news of them to you without you having to go looking for them. Um, next slide, please. So through our first year experience program, we are offering um, learning communities. And by joining this learning community, we are offering three courses that are only open to students like yourself, so Via Rapida, first year experience students. Um, so you guys are all starting as first year, you guys will move through these courses together. So it's just a great chance to build that community. Um, you know, you guys can build like study groups and just go through like tests together. Um, it'll be the same group of people. So you don't have to um, just experience like a completely different environment with every course. And the courses that we are offering, if you can see here, is um, CCS 118, which is the U.S. History of Chicano Chicana Perspectives, um, Counseling 120, College and Career Success, which is a great course um, to kind of like build those study skills in college, um, and then English 120 with the 020 support course. So all of these courses either cover um, your degree for an associate or transfer, cover your degree to transfer if you want to go to a university. Um, 
So if you are interested in this, um, you can actually email us. And our email is down here. So again, it would be three courses, and then you would probably choose a fourth, um, like an elective, if you do want to be a full-time student. So this is open specifically for students in our program. Next, quick, next slide, please. Okay. So. Want to talk about um, that one? Hello. What happened? Yeah. Can talk, talk about, about this slide? Yeah. Okay. So um, now that we give you just an overview, you know, of Grossman and of our program, um, we just want to let you know we are currently accepting applications for Via Rapida FYE, and you can actually apply through this link, grossman.edu, my little um, dash FYE, and our application is on there in English and in Spanish. It's a very simple application, like a five minutes or less. Um, so by applying, you're going to put your name on our list and we'll give you that priority for fall and spring. After you apply, we'll communicate with you via your email. So try to check in, you know, at least once a day because, you know, in college, that's going to be the primary method to reach you through your email. And under that, I did want to include that because, you know, these times are really uncertain. Um, in case you need to see resources that can support you or your families, we do have a link. Um, it's titled COVID-19 Resources. So some of it is specifically tailored only for current Grossman students. But if you keep scrolling down, we also list community resources. So we list like food pantry, um, like tenant protections, um, things like that, that, that may apply to you. So, I mean, I encourage you to scroll through it in case you need, um, you or your family need support. We put a lot of, um, we did a lot of research and put it all in one place for you. So I just want to throw that out there in case you do need those resources. Um, so, of course, you apply for Via Rapida, but we also do want to remind you that you have to still apply for our college. So you need a Via Rapida FYE application and then you need a Grossman College application. And to do the Grossman College one, here is the link for that. So grossman.edu-future-students and it'll take you through the steps. Um, but again, I just want to offer for anyone listening to this, um, you can always contact me and I can again further break it down. I can show you how you can do this or I can walk through it with you. Um, we're pretty much here to support you and just know that um, let's I forgot to put deadlines on this slide, but if you want to apply for Via Rapida and you do want to get part ready for the fall, I would say to apply um, before June first, just so that we can guarantee you fall priority because fall, part, fall registration is going to start June 22nd. So I would say try doing it, um, I mean, if you can as soon as possible, but deadline would be June 1st for our program, um, just if you want that priority for fall. We'll still accept you if you apply after June 1st, but just know that we can't um, pr provide you with fall priority registration. And then for Grisman College, again, I would give you the same, same deadline. Apply before um, June 1st because in order to give you fall priority, we need your college student ID. And you can get a college student ID through the Grisman College application. So I know it's a lot of information, so just remember, you need a Via Rapida FYE application through this link, and then you need a Grisma College application too. And I'm more than happy to help. You can either contact me, or if you click on the next slide, our college is actually, um, can we get the next, yeah. Our college is offering what we call a virtual help desk. So we have outreach ambassadors who are staffing this, and they can help you with any assistance. Like I said, you can either reach out to me or you can reach out to them and you can see the dates and times here. Um, so that is, uh, we do use Zoom. So you would just enter this meeting ID and then Monday through Tuesday, they're available eight to six, um, Wednesday, Thursday, eight to five, Friday, eight to one. So these are a drop-in basis. You don't have to stay the whole time. I just wanted to put this out there um, in case you do want that one-on-one -on -one support, I'm available or you can go to our 
Um, we call it the Griffin's Virtual Help Desk since you know our campus is closed right now. But just know that we are available virtually to help you. And then if you click on the next slide, just has my, um, so this is my email, gabriela.soto at gccd.edu. Um, or you can go through our website, rosmanda.edu dash Hawaii. We do have social media um, and we do post information and events up there if you wanna follow us. Um, but pretty much this is our presentation and just know that we're all here to support you. Um, we want you to be ready to start college this fall if you wish to do so. Um, I know we have a student with us now. Um, so if you have any questions, please um, ask us or you can type it in the chat. Um, but please feel free to always reach out to me. We can set up um, another meeting to go over all the steps um, or if you have questions about anything else. We're more than happy to help. So like that's our, um, one of our students, Haley, she had to leave as she was driving, but I'll definitely, sh she said to share this video with her once the session's Bye. ended. Awesome. Thank you so much for letting us present. You're welcome. Um, thank you again, Grant, Gabriella, and uh, mentors for stopping in today and sharing a um, great program. I've talked to some seniors and they're definitely unaware of the Promise program, unaware of the first year experience programs. And I think it's highly recommended for you know student retention and making sure that they succeed their first year and that they're doing well. And ultimately connecting with other peers who are going through the program and creating those first friendships probably for the rest of their lives if, if they if they stay with yeah. you so thank you again yeah thank you and feel free to share my information with um, your students or if you want me to contact your students um, if you want to share their information like I'm more than happy to um, just whichever way is better as long as we get them connected because like I mentioned I know there's a lot of uncertainty but um, you know, classes are going to start this fall, you know, whether that's virtually or online, but we just want to help them be ready for that. Sweet. All right. Anything, um, mentors, would you like to share or add or Gabriela? Any last minute thoughts? Uh, nothing. Just thank you for the opportunity of uh, sharing and letting us reach all the students we possibly can through this pandemic virtually. Yeah, definitely. Thank you for inviting us here mm -hmm. and giving us, you know, this opportunity because I know I remember how lost I felt my first day. So just being able to help other students not feel that hopelessness even for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. All right. Well, that concludes our session mm -hmm. with Grossman's Via Rapida First Year Experience Program. Mm -hmm. And I'll definitely share this with more seniors. Before I hope we can do this often. I'm not sure what 